Welcome back, Professor C here with another in-class coding challenge relating to if statements in Python, or also known as conditional statements. So right now I have one called in-class coding challenge to the certification exam. Prompt and receive the score of a certification exam. Certi certification exams are important in the IT world um, that students take, or actually professional take as well, and it helps um, certify that you know a certain silo information in a particular area, such as Networks Plus, um, uh, Security Plus exams, etc. So once you've taken the inputted score, you're going to check to see if the score is greater than or equal to 90, and you're going to put out to the screen pass with a print statement. If the score is equal to 100, you're going to also put out to the screen in addition to pass, perfect score, and if the score is below 90, you're going to write to the screen using the print statement retake. So now is a good time to pause while you figure out what the solution is. And I have the solution um, right here. So here is the code. So pause if you want to try it on your own, which I strongly urge. Think about it. I'm on. Pause it. Good. Come back when you're ready to check your attempt to my solution. Well, if you paused or you just hit play and kept going, here's the answer. You take in the grade, convert to an int because we get whole numbers only, I grade. If I grade is greater than or equal to 90, we write pass to the screen. And notice we indent it under this if. So say your score was 95. Is 95 greater than or equal to 90? True. We will pass out to the screen. Then we check for perfect score. Is 95 equal equal to 100? Remember, equal, equal in Python is how you check for equality. 95 is not equal to perfect uh, to 100, so you do not get perfect score, but you don't get this, you skip over it. If you put in 100, is 100, right here's 100, is 100 greater or equal to uh, 90? True. Pass goes to the screen. Is I grade, which is 100, equal, equal to 100? True. Perfect score, and we get out of there. Say you get a 72. Is 72 greater or equal to 90? That is false, so we go down to this else and we print out retake. Now notice I have an if and an else, but I have an if with no else and that is totally cool.